welcome back to another episode of Cursed Gaming. This time we have a creepypasta made by a fellow subscriber. Now the author wants me to read this creepypasta word for word, but I'm a bit of a rebel, so I'm going to do a mix of both. I'm going to read the preamble word for word, and the second section of the creepypasta in the summary. So with that being said, let's move on and get into the creepypasta. I woke up after the horror. Needless to say, I killed myself. So the story begins with the player receiving a message on Discord from his or her friend, Skello hashtag I'm not gonna put the rest fuck you Zobri or goddamn redditor. Uh, according to the player, Skello speaks with a tech support scammer accent. Are you sure? Anyway, Skello messaged the player saying not to play the RE3 remake. Oh, I mean not to play a ROM he sent the player. Skello sent a link to the ROM. The link in question being https semicolon slash slash www.pornhub.com forward slash users forward slash tsm trade Skello said that the ROM will fucking kill you if you play it. Spooked by this, the player installed the ROM anyways. The ROM file being smv3 colon bw. Once the title screen showed, the player was met with the image of his or her face. The player dutied his or her diapies, but quickly sucked the shit back up into his or her diaper when he or she realized it was just his or her reflection. Uh, so once the game started up, a voice whispered, Who saved me? Hearing this, the player quickly 360 no-scoped around thinking it was his or her mother that said this, since his or her mother occasionally walks into his or her room with the bowl of Kraft Mac and Cheese. Knowing that it wasn't his or her mother, he or she just continued playing. Uh, the title screen showed up normally, which turned the player on since this was his or her favorite video game. Uh, the player selected Mario, but once he or she picked Mario, for a split second, and I mean a split second, preferably 0.3086353 seconds, Mario had bleeding eyes and was staring right at the player. And, uh, the player shrugged this off and continued playing. Uh, the player st- The player started World Aid- <laughs> I can't even say this, how am I- oh my god. Uh, the player started World A1-A1. A1 as in having an A1 day at Walt's car wash. <laughs> Everything was the same except for the fact that the background was dark dank red. The player shed his or her yellow corduroy pants that his or her mother bought for him at Macy's. Uh, next the player walked into Tao's house and was shocked to see that it said only one thing. Skello, post more soggy loads or I will coot your dick off. The player wondered what that meant but quickly shrugged it off and opened the item chest. Out came the motherfucking Blood Whistel. Blood Whistel. Hearts cry. The player was in utter disbelief at seeing this horrid message, and regretted ignoring Skello hashtag shut the fucks up's warning. The player then cried in fear at seeing blood leaking out of Taud's hyperrealistic eyes. Uh, the blood wasn't like basic 8-bit blood like most 8-bit games, but instead had a deep crimson. Crimson like the song by King Crimson. What a fucking knobhead, according to the player. By the way, I didn't even fucking make that reference, that was all fucking Zobra. Or I mean, whoever wrote this early, what? What would I say, what? Anyways, uh, the next day, the player woke up happy, but quickly turned sad after having a flashback of the events that occurred previously. The day before, the day known as yesterday, the player looked at his or her favorite posters. Those posters in question being about MGS3, MLP, colon, FIM, and of course, SMB3. Saddened by his or her flashback, he or she turned on his or her Alienware gaming PC. Speaking of Alienware gaming PCs, this video is sponsored by Alienware. Only the best gamers use Alienware. If you want to game hard and win at life, get your ass a fucking Alienware PC. 
Not this Lenovo fucking Dell crap. Fucking Alienware. Only the chattiest of chads get this PC. Use code SKELLO to get a 25% discount on your first Alienware PC. Anyways, back to the creepypasta. Uh, after turning on his or her gaming PC, which is Alienware by the way, he or she saw that his or her favorite games were there. Those games in question being Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Umbrella Core, and of course... Si you know what, fuck the summary, I don't feel like putting more, any more effort into this shit, I'm just gonna fucking read this travesty word for word. Needless to say, I opened Super Mario Bros. 3. A flash of Lovecraftian horror enveloped my entire being as I stared in utter shock and disbelief. This was my worst nightmare, World 2. Somehow I already gotten to it the previous day, you know, yesterday. I couldn't remember the events of yesterday. Fickle fibers of my brain shot up as I lo I hate you. <laughs> Fickle fibers of my brain shot up as I looked in the mirror. I saw a hyper-realistic Mario face string back at me. I jumped back in immense shock, my mouth and ass agape. I cried big scary eyes. My jaw dropped to the floor. The next week, I woke up to go to school. It was a beautiful day outside, the sun was shining down, the trees blowing in the wind. Such a a nice day. I bet my friend Esoy will call him for the sack of the story. After lunch, and spoke to him about the creepy rom that my friend, Skella Hashtag Go Fuck Yourself, had sent me roughly nine days earlier. I broke down into tears and had a severe panic attack as my heart raced at speeds that can rival that of Usain Bolt. Or <laughs> Ainsley Harriet, nice. He comforted me, putting his hand on my back, and working his and down to my th. th he whispered, It'll all be over soon. Blood whistle will come for OU. I stampeded for a moment. I looked at him shocked. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? He smiled while I could swear his eyes glowed a eep crimson. Nothing, buddy. Just stay safe, Jesse. I'm sure it will blow over soon. He got up and walked to Cass. Fifth period. It was Spanish for him. I had English that hour. But that's regardless of the plot. It was roughly 12.40 p.m. Perhaps even 1241. Maybe even 51. <laughs> 51 as in the fourth episode of the fifth season of Breaking Bad titled 51. Okay, that one was me. That one was me. Well, I'm off to class, guys. Talk tomorrow. The next morning, I... <laughs> I got up for my daily weekend routine. Exactly right. My friend... Gaming, I turned on my favorite YouTuber, some ordinary gamers, sat and relaxed with my two gallon jug of orange juice and crackers. To the left of me was my statue, Tyler One. It even said voice lines from his stream, such as Get this shit off me! I opened up my favorite game, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Oh my god, you can tell when this is written. <laughs> Man, such a great remaster. A remaster so timeless, in fact, that it may even rival that of RE3 make. Such a good game. Jill is so hot, and Chris just makes me want to lose me, me and. I was playing a normal level in Eggman's casino plays. I have short-term memory loss, so I forget things easily. I have short-term memory loss, so I forget things easily. And I met up with Tails and the Wisps. One of the Wisps was acting strange. Fetch me their soul! Fetch me their soul! Fetch me their soul! Specifically one from Call of Duty Black Ops Keenan Toten on the Xbox 360. Um, no, it originated in 
Shinonuma, you fucking scrub. On the Xbox 360, my favorite game and console. But the Wisps then looked at Sonic. Maybe even at me. Hyper realistic blood shot out of their eyes and mouths. AAs, they started staring directly into the very depths of my soul. Yo, honey, your chicken tennies are ready. My mom, Zelda, yelled from downstairs. Yes, her name is Zelda. Just like my favorite game, which is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Yes, my friend Superman, <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. But I'll be rotten in hell for his crimes against humanity. I ran downstairs, but I could have sworn I saw one of the wisps <laughs> wink at me and whisper extremely fast in an ancient German or perhaps Swiss language. Return the slab or suffer my key. I ran at the speed of Nirvana's rise in the early 90s. My mother caught me in my dazed, perhaps even frantic state. More like granite state. Granite state as in the 15th episode of the 5th season of Breaking Bad titled Granite State. Yes, yes. This, this time, that, that was me also, that was me also. She asked if I was half veen. Another schizophrenic episode. I said, No, I took my pills early this morning. No, I took my pills early this morning. No, I took... She smiled. Okay, honey. Eat your veggies. What? Uh, uh, veggies? Uh, I could have sworn I was having tendies. I looked down on my little pony style plate. Specifically the Fluttershy one, Pinkie Pie, smiling into your soul as you eat. I saw two large celery sticks and a carrot. Maybe even a stick too. Carrot and stick, if you will. Carrot and stick, as in the second episode of the sixth season, Better Call Saul, titled Carrot and Stick. I picked up a carrot, but it looked at me. Blood whistle. Here is depraved cry. Subscribe to Skill Level 6 O apostrophe 1. I dropped the carrot on my fork. I shit my diaper yet again. I ran to my mother's room screaming. Mother, mother, it has begun. He is going to come on the day of reckoning. He will be here yesterday. Oh my god, this story is so long. Oh my god. I'm not even halfway through. The next week, I was at my bi-weekly therapy session. My therapist, Dr. Bongu Man, was giving me my diagnosed medicine for the month. He asked if anything strange had been happening recently. I told him about the carrot, my friend Isoy, my mother Zelda T-Laws, scale hashtag go fuck yourself, and of course him, Towood, his rotten, disgusting, malnourished body. It looked like he hadn't eaten in decades, if that were even possible. The Huan body can only go for roughly two weeks without eating, and he would feel starvation settle in after three to four days. He would be incapable of going over a month without eating or drinking. Stay hydrated. His crimson red eyes, which pierced my innocent baby soul. I feel traumatized just thinking about it. My therapist, Senator Armstrong, said that he had another pruno ID says of the Hernia episode. I shrugged it off and went back home. My mother was worried about me, but I shrugged Oot off and went back home. My friend Isoy was worried about E, it but I shrugged of and went. I woke up. The rain was pouring against my open window, staining my dry carpet. I looked down on my hands. Was it all just a nightmare? I climbed out of my bunk bed. I missed my big brother Esau was here living with me. I got into my computer desk and my solid snake jammies. I exclaimed aloud, Kept you waiting, huh? And googled like an innocent yet unpure Japanese schoolgirl from one of those animes. Little reference for you, my favorite gum Yenderis and the Anyways, or I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, anyways, I opened up my computer. No ROM was there. Just my favorite games, FNAF, 
Undertale, Liberty City Stories. I got out of my desk and walked to my bathroom, which was located to the right. Oh, I, I mean, I'm sorry, I meant... I got out of my desk and walked into my bathroom, which was located to the right. My story is a two-story home, so I have a lot of extra rooms with just me and my mother living here. As stated previously, my little brother Isoi used to live in this home, but he's gone for a while. I took a massive leak until my bladder hurt. I flushed the toilet, washed my hands, dried them off, you know the rest. I walked downstairs to smell not only bacon, but eggs too. Kinda like how Walt's breakfast looked in Breaking Bad. In my freshly shaven ass, which was baked in sweat, I mean swee, like a slightly used chert, M. Favor, Ite, my mother welcomed me to the kitchen. Hola, A.B. Jack. I groggily replied. Morning, Zello, my mother. I sat down at the kitchen t table and looked outside. <laughs> After roughly 3 minutes and 42 seconds of me thinking of the entire Snake Fucker song, specifically the MGS5 Donna Burke version and not the original, although MGS2 Sons of Liberty is my favorite game, my mother smiled. Time for school, sonny boy, bitch. Up the font turned red. I acknowledged her pitiful existence, though I decided not to reply out of pure spite for all the torturous trials she put me through over the roughly 16 years of my adolescence. Did I seriously just write that? I think he's taking over. Any weeds? I woke up at 3 a.m. the next day. School was a blast the night before. School was a bast. The tea night before. Anyways, I woke up at 3 a.m. the next day. I was baked in my own sweat and bodily fluids of indiscernible, undistinguishable chemical-like sub substances which coursed through my tight boy veins, aka seminal fluids. Knee was. I woke up at 3 a.m. I had a sever, e, old nightmare. I to a sad bout it. I woke up at 3 a.m. I had a severe nightmare. It was about my younger sitter, Isoi, and something called a blood whistle. Here, here, tss, cruelly. Anyways, I woke up at 3 a.m. and had had a. Uh... At school, I met up with Isoi, my stepbrother, after lunch. I had brought my recently purchased Steam Deck, which was sort of like a Nintendo Switch for the PC Master Race, such as myself, buck console plebs. I perused the arts of fine dining Rio Row. I met stepsister Isoi at lunch. I showed my Steam Deck to her and she smiled. We opened it up and there was all my Steam games such as L4D2, Halo Colon Infinite, Gary's Mod, shout out to Ethan Zobrier, and of course, Roost. Roost was and always has been e favorite game. Ever since it came out in the year of our Lord, and as we're Jesus Christ, two zero four three, I started up the game. I started it up. I started up T. I started the game up with Esau, and we both remembered it just as it was. The title screen, wit, what, what? It had a whistle. That was red. Instead of rust, it read. Super Mario Bros. 3 Blood Whistle. I cried. It wasn't a dream after all. I oak up in Spog Bob Sijamez. I woke up in my Spog Bob Jamies and I listened to my favorite song, Animal Crossing Wild World's opening. I woke K. I woke up to my favorite song, Last Surprise from Persona 5. I opened up my computer and clicked on the wrong. World 8. The final world. I started 8-1. Mario said, Luigi, what is that? Then Luigi said, hey, Mario, that is the male testicles and penis. That's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. It's a football. I chiseled it. Needless to say, I shit bricks. I went to Toad's house, and I cried. Mario said, I need you so bad. Why is Mario starting to sound like Walt?
schizophrenia, i.a. schizophrenia. Taud looked at me, not at Mario, but at me. Me, the player. I shit my pants with immense fear. His eyes started bleeding, and Ho's mouth opened to the floor. He said, Blood whistle. Hear her cry. Then N lost control of my B.O.D. Thank you for reading my creepypasta. This is my... This was my O oh first first creepypasta, and my name is Taud, and I am 6 ye ro lds I like Mario Bros. I like Anima Bull Crossing. I Loki pa Pablo? Pokemon. I gained control one final time, knowing what I had to do. I grabbed my Brian Griffin Fluffy that says, Whoa, that's a hoy, and my Doom Gun replica. I pointed towards my head. At least I'll die doing what I love, Brian. Whoa, that's a hoy, he said softly. Softly? Softly. I started jerking off my dick using B. Ryan S. A. A. Flushlight. I p pointed the COD World War II rifle, June, at my head. I piled the trigger. Click. Hello, Peter. I heard Duck Hawk say. I am so excited for. Sp wow, this is dated. I am so excited for Spider A Man No Way Home. I love Andrew Gayfield Spider Man, my favorite e game year. The end. Or. The end. Or. Uh, the author then closes off the story with, Thank you, ProJared, for responding for my email last Thursday. I love your content. My favorite video foe yours is your D&D one. I love it. A.B. Jerk. The end. Or... Uh, so that was... something. Uh, was it good? Was it bad? Well, I don't care what you think, because I have the final say on things, okay? This is my channel. This creepypasta is fucking terrible. Not terrible. Terrible. Horrible. Dog shit. An abomination of storytelling. An asinine atrocity. Easily a negative 3.8714 out of 40178.803. Why, you may ask? Well, for starters, this story is riddled with cliches. You can't go three words without a cliché occurring, from the blood, specifically hyperistic blood, the player telling the reader his or her heart on for X game, the normal aspects of the game turning scary, and the overuse of the color red. Those are just some of the clichés I listed. There are far, FAR more that I don't even feel like listing. Uh, another fucking horrendous sin this story commits is terrible grammar and spelling. Like. Did the author not know what spell check was? I was seriously struggling to read this. I'm pretty sure you guys and guys could tell. It's like the author wrote this without the ability to hit backspace. See, this is why you don't do anything on a crap top. Also, the fact that there were hardly any Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul references made this story fucking abysmal. I had to do the majority of the fucking referencing. Fake ass Breaking Bad fan. Also, the, the, the whole schizophrenic thing, is it's, it's ridiculous, okay? Stop. God, the people who wrote this garbage daybreak shit are fucking morons. Zobrier. What a fucking stupid ass name. No one could even pronounce it right. Also, your channel's more dead than Howard Hamlin's spoiler alert. Also, you need to calm down on your n-word usage, okay? Makes me uncomfortable since I am a white man. Super mana. How about you go to the doctor and check out his service dog, you damn autist? Also, you misspelled your fucking name, you moron. Oh, and that Skello Devil 601 guy. Oh, jeez, now that guy is something. First off, he didn't even find the Metroid Mother video. I mean, he fooled everybody on April Fool's by saying he found it. Instead of the actual vid, it was just clips of a spring saying, Eat your sus shit. I mean, what a fucking asshole, am I right? Also, I checked out his channel, which has 2,000 subs and saw that all he does nowadays is upload Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul stuff. I mean, come on, how about you stop posting things you like and go back to posting Sog uploads, jackass? Plus, he always lies about cursed gaming. I mean, every time he says he'll upload something on a certain day, 
He never does. He said he does this series one a week, and yet some episodes are weeks apart. He even says he'll do a story someone suggests, but he never does it. Jeez, what an ass fuck. Now, I'm not an asshole, so I won't rip this story a new one, so I'll offer some suggestions on how to fix this story. One thing I'd fix is the decision to write the story in the first place. If I were to write this, I would have just started the story with the end, and then put a link to my channel. Uh, with all that being said, this was a pretty good creepypasta, and damn near perfect. The author makes Vince Gilligan, Peter Gould, and Melissa Bernstein proud. I highly suggest you gals and guys give it a read, even though you never will since there will be no link provided. Uh, this has been another episode of Cursed Gaming, and if you like what you saw, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To me, not Zerbrew. Maybe Ultra. You can sub to him since he makes stellar content, especially on his Patreon and Pornhub. You guys have to fucking donate to that shit. If Old Trade gets two million dollars on his Patreon, I mean OnlyFans, then I will publicly release all of Zobria's nudes. Uh, this is me, skill level, and I'm out. Oh, and by the way, happy Halloween.